So here we have the C300 with the Samurai. So I'm taking the output from the sensor directly into the Samurai. You can see I've got the same feed here. Some setup things to remember on the C300 is that when I go to menu and I choose my recording format down in settings here, then I want to turn on, if I'm in 24p, turn on 24p, um, and I'll be recording that internally and externally. Now the C300 doesn't give a 24p progressive signal out of the SDI like the C100 and the C um, and the f even the 5D do that. However, this one does not. It's a bit more old school. And the way you need to set that up, so I'm on 24p. You can see that I'm on 24p here. Now what the Samurai will show you is the 60i for compatibility with older monitors. However, the 24p signal is in inside there. If I now touch that twice, I go to 24p, and all I need to do is wave my hand in front of the image here to lock the signal. And once that's locked, you'll see that we're able to record and we're, we're in 24p recording mode. You need to do this each time you set up the camera. If you turn the camera off or you turn the Samurai off, you'll need to do this each time. Um, and now that I'm ready to record, I can hit record on the camera and I'm recording. If I hit stop on the camera, if I come in here, I'm going to go to Canon for start, stop, trigger. And if I go to my main page here, I've got obviously all my setups for focus peaking, zebra, etc., false color. And I can start and stop trigger from the C300. So now I've got an offline record or a higher quality than the 50 megabits internally. Um, in 422 10-bit ProRes or Avid DNX. So for all you cinema guys going into Avid, we also go down to Avid 36, which gives you the, a nice, really small proxy, or you can record in 10, 20, 220 megabit 10-bit, which allows you to obviously do a lot more in post-production. So that's the setup between the C300 and uh, the Samurai. And of course, while we're recording, just a side note, we can insert favorite and reject of the clip, uh, which allows you to uh, then see that in post-production. Once we've recorded and we hit stop, we can then play that back. And once we play it back, we can play it out, the SDI, the exact, and that's the recording that I just did. You can see my favorite and reject there. And now I can do the same by hitting, that's my in point, that's my out point, and there's my metadata tag. That goes in Final Cut, it does not go into Avid.